before we get started, guys, I wanted you guys to know this scam really does come from an Oklahoma prison. And it's not the only prison doing this. I know that there's another one that I was told about that's coming out of Nevada. I don't know exactly which prison in Oklahoma, but one of them. I played the perfect victim in this. I did not reveal that I'm a scam baiter. I did not ask or didn't call him out for being a scammer. I wanted the scam to go to play out to the complete end to see exactly what this was because I've never come across this before. Um, yeah, hello. Um, I got a, um, a call about a, something about jury duty and a warrant for my arrest. Yes, ma'am. May I ask who's speaking? Um, Penelope Bailey. Can you pronounce that? Can you spell that for me out, ma'am? It's P E N E L O P E. Bailey. Okay, one more. Ba well, that's my first name. My last name is. B A I L E Y. Okay, man, one moment. Mm hmm. Is Bailey? Yeah, I'm here. May you um, ba ba verify your middle initial, ma'am? My middle initial? Yes, ma'am. It's L? I said, I'm going to transfer you to the lieutenant, ma'am. Lieutenant? Yes, ma'am, Lieutenant Bailey. Okay. Sheriff's Department, this is Lieutenant Butler. How can I help you? I'm not sure what's going on. I got a message about jury duty and a warrant for my arrest. And who am I speaking with, ma'am? Penelope Bailey. Yes, yes, ma'am. I do apologize. I was trying to pull up your file here, Miss Bailey. Um, and oh. let me see. Okay, ma'am. Uh, are you aware that you were scheduled for a federal grand jury selection process? Grand jury? Um, no. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Miss Bailey, uh, what I need you to do, ma'am, is uh, just give me a moment. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to inform you a little bit about what's going on down here, ma'am. Well, I, uh, I'm sorry. Don't you guys usually send a letter out for jury duty to let people know? Yes, ma'am. There, there was actually a summons issued, ma'am, and that summons was actually issued to uh, that was a... Let me see. I well, a summons, I mean, summons is for an I arrest, mean, isn't it? I mean, I mean, you guys send letters for jury. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. A summons is not for an arrest, ma'am. Oh, okay. Uh, that summons was actually issued, ma'am, to uh, P.O. Box 17, uh, Choctaw, Oklahoma, ma'am. Oklahoma? I don't live in Oklahoma. Oh, my God. I mean, I don't understand why you okay. would send it to the wrong address. You've never been, you've never been associated with that mailing address, ma'am? No, sir. No. Okay, ma'am. We, we had you uh, listed as a participant, and you've never been associated with uh, with 8 North Rockwell Avenue, uh, a part in Oklahoma City, ma'am? No, sir. I live in Florida. Um, Have I been summoned to jury, a grand jury, from, from here? No, ma'am. You've actually been uh, summoned uh, in, in Oklahoma, ma'am. Um, I have to go to Oklahoma? Well, no, ma'am. You actually you failed to appear for this, so uh, we're going to be required to uh, get you down to a local department or actually um, we would be required to, you know, basically get in touch with them and, and dispatch them out to your residence, ma'am. What I need you to do, ma'am, is Wait a I second. Wait a second. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to understand this. Okay, this is yes, Oklahoma, ma but I live in Florida. I've never, I've never been to Oklahoma. Completely. I've never been to Oklahoma. I understand that completely, ma'am. We have you. With, and and Miss Bailey, uh, you are 78 years old, correct? God, no. That's, that's terrible. That's rude. I'm sorry. Not, I'm Bailey. 56. Okay, ma'am. Uh, let me... Let me see if I can pull up the right file here and see exactly because uh, apparently. Uh, I hope okay, and I hope and pray you've got the wrong person. I hope and pray you okay, do. Okay, ma'am, ma'am, what's your what's your address, ma'am? <sighs> it's. Okay, ma'am, and just give me a moment. This doesn't make any sense at all. <sighs> Ma'am, it'll make perfect sense in just a moment when I can pull up your file. Okay. Uh, and 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 basically what what I feel like happened, ma'am, is I don't know if uh, you were selected as a possible uh, participant in regards to uh, they actually 
put in for a change of venue on this case and trial, ma'am, that says it's actually a federal case and trial. Oh, you mean they moved involve... it from Oklahoma? Is that what you're yes. saying? Well, yes, ma'am, exactly. It, mm -hmm. You know, part of the, uh, the case did actually involve, uh, you know, uh, being in Oklahoma and, you know, the other part was actually uh, down in, in Florida. So, you know, it kind of went through a couple different states that, as far as jurisdictional wise. Uh, so, you know, that's that's the issue with why they actually pulled participants from other states. Well, I wish you would have notified me. I didn't receive anything in the mail about this. Yeah, and well, I know you guys and, always and, and do I, it that way, don't you? Yes, ma'am. And, and I, I, I do apologize, ma'am. And um, we can sh certainly get this taken care of for you. And I do, you know, again, I apologize. But um, we are going to be required, ma'am. Uh, to stay on the line with you until we get this resolved but i can assure you ma'am that we can get this cleared up uh we just we will be required to go through the policy and procedure in order to get that rectified today okay what's the what's the policy and procedure i mean it's it's uh, basically basically ma'am once we make contact with an individual who has citations uh whether they be active or inactive uh we have to maintain that uh, open line of communication until they've actually made it into the local department to either turn their self in or uh, they actually, you know, get turn myself in. Procedure. Turn myself in. Well, I didn't, I didn't know. <sighs> just listen to me, ma'am. There were, there were 40 people that were scheduled and out of that 40, there were a group of 13 people that didn't show up. You happen to be part of that group. So we realized that it may not entirely be you guys' fault. Right. So you're not going to jail, you're not going to be arrested or anything like that, ma'am, but you are going to be required only to to handle the citations for the fines and fees that are associated with those citations. Citation? In order to avoid, or, yes, ma'am, you're going to be required to pay the fine, but you are going to get that money back, okay? Wait a minute. Okay, I'm trying to understand that there's a fine. Um, if there's a fine, yes, it shouldn't be refundable. I mean, I've got traffic tickets before. Yes. I had to pay the fine, and they were giving me my money yes, back. Yes, ma'am, but see, see, this is a civil procedure, ma'am, and we don't feel like this was your fault anyway. The well, then don't charge me the fine. Then that can't you cancel the fine? Ma'am, that has nothing to do with, with us at the Sheriff's Department. Once it comes down from the judge, we have to go through with this through uh. the procedure that's actually set in place by the judge. We can't deviate from that, ma'am. I can't tell you what I can hope that I can do for you. I can tell you what I can do for you, what I can't do for you, and what I'm going to do if, if you actually require me to do my job, ma'am. All right. Well, can you explain this, please? Because I don't understand this okay, at all. Okay. Uh, a little bit. The procedure, ma'am, you're going to be required to handle the citations in order to move them to an inactive status. Once those go into an inactive status, the judge is going to sign off and dismiss this, ma'am which will in turn refund your full fine amount back to you in form of a cashier's check, okay? Uh, well, what is the fine? Uh, the fine for the failure to appear, ma'am, uh, the judge has levied at uh, $1,493. $1,493? Are you kidding me? No, uh, ma'am. I don't have $1,493. I don't have that. I mean, I mean, if I mean, don't they usually give you um, time to pay these well, kind of see, things? Can I have some time? Well, see what you're going to be required to do, ma'am. Since you're going to get that money back, you are going to be required to handle the fine, but that will be refunded to you within about fifteen to twenty minutes after you. Well, that's uh, fine and dandy if I have it. That that's fine and dandy if I had fourteen hundred and ninety-three dollars, which I don't. I would have to go okay, get a loan. I would have to go get a loan to pay that. Okay, so what I ask that you do, ma'am, is, is just figure out, you know, what you could pay toward that, and we'll direct you to uh, National Bonding so that you can go ahead and get that cleared up. Well, and, well and all we right, well, okay, you, you said this is $1,493 for the fine. Um, I just yes, got I just got my disability money today. I paid my mortgage and my bills, and I've got about $175 left to buy food. That's all the money I've got. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Well, uh, ma'am, whatever you whatever you are required to pay today, ma'am, will be refunded to you. Um, you know, by the end of the day, um, I'd say within about forty five minutes of your process. What that, am I required? To, what am I required to pay? Uh, you're going to be required to to handle the citations, ma'am, or at least put a partial payment on that. Well, like I said, I only have, I've only got $175 after all my bills and I don't have any food yet. I haven't gone to the grocery store. That's all I've got is $175.
Okay, ma'am. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if I can get the judge to agree to let me put a partial payment in for that, ma'am, and then we'll direct you to, you know, how you're going to be required to handle that today, okay? All right, that's fine. G give me just a moment. I'm going to see if I, I'm pretty sure I can get him to do it, ma'am. And, and again, I do apologize, and I'm, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure we get this taken care of for you today, okay? All right, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Just give me a moment. I'll be right back with you. Mm-hmm. Okay, ma'am. And uh, what the judge did actually authorize me to accept that partial payment, ma'am, of the 175. Uh, but again, you are going to be required to do that through national bonding, ma'am. Um, and you are going okay, to be required. Okay, um, sir, I don't mean to interrupt you. That's all the money I've got. That's all I've got until next month. I don't have any money left to buy well, food for the whole uh, month. Well, ma'am. <laughs> Okay, ma'am. What I'm going to do, ma'am, I'm going to handle this out of my pocket. Um, I'm going to I'm going to try to take care of it that way, ma'am. Well, uh, I could do it. Day. I could do it, but I would have to and wait until next month. You're going to get that refunded back to you within about 30 to 45 minutes, ma'am. Once we get this dismissed and the judge signs off on it, well, you'll get that back back in same method that you actually processed that payment, ma'am. Oh. Uh, well, God, I hope so, because I don't have any money to feed myself or my dog for the next month. I have nothing. That's all I've got. I don't get very much with disability. God, this is a nightmare. I didn't even know about this. And, and yes, ma'am, and that's why that's why this is actually going to be dismissed uh, today. Uh, but, you know, we are going to require that you do process that payment for the fines and fees uh, through national bonding so that we can go ahead and clear it up. Well, did you say you um, were going to take care of it out of your pocket? I mean, would I have to pay you well, back? What I'm saying is you said you, said you were going to had it to pay, and I told you that you are going to get it back. Well, man. no, I said that's and all I've got. That's the only, that's the only money I've I got. And you are going to get that back. After about, you know, a 30-minute uh, procedure, that's going to take us to get this removed from the system, man. That's it. Um, how do I go about paying this at 7 to 7.30 at night on a Wednesday night? Okay, okay ma'am. You, you would have to go through uh, national bonding in order to do that, ma'am. And you can uh, utilize that payment through Venmo, ma'am. Um, what? Through what? If you will, ma'am, are, are you on a smartphone? Um, no, I have a flip phone. Okay, ma'am. Um, uh, let me see. What What's Venmo? I, I'm sorry, I don't know what that is. Uh, I mean, that's, that's actually uh, the payment processing uh, center that uh, National Bonding goes through, ma'am. And basically what you would do is you would just go on to their uh, app, and you would enter the correct information for National Bonding, and it would actually pull up their business their physical business, ma'am, and you would process that payment through that app. Oh, well, I don't I don't know what that is, and I, I have a flip phone, so I, I don't know uh, what that is. Um, I don't know what to do. So you don't you don't have a smartphone or anything like no. that, ma'am? No, sir, I don't. I okay. don't have enough money you for that. You can't utilize a credit or debit card, ma'am? I'm sorry? Hello? I, I, don't, I don't hear you. You hung up. I wonder if he felt bad because there was a little tiny sliver of humanity there where he said, I'm going to pay for this out of my pocket. Just a tiny, tiny sliver of humanity. Let's call him back. This is an emergency. Please hang up and dial 911. You have reached the Davidson County Sheriff's Department located at 710 South Fifth Street in Nashville, Tennessee. What? We're currently unavailable to take your call. What? Please leave a brief detailed message explaining the purpose of your call. We'll return your call as soon as possible. And again, for an emergency, please hang up and dial 911. Huh. I'm not leaving a message. I'm going to call back one more time. Hello? Oh, Sheriff Department, Lieutenant Marlboro. Uh, yeah, I was just speaking with somebody and I got disconnected. I'm not sure who it was. I apologize. Yes, ma'am. Um, can you help me? Yes, ma'am. Can you verify your name? Yeah, it's Penelope Bailey. I was just speaking to somebody. I spoke to somebody, then they transferred me to somebody, and I got disconnected. 
Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And what is that officer name was? I'm sorry. I'm just scared to death because I, I I didn't write his name down. I'm sorry. I didn't write his name down. He was telling me about national bonding and everything, and then we just got disconnected. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Did he tell you to find him out now? I'm sorry? Did he give you a fine? Yeah, 1493 or $8. It was it was like $1,400. Yes, but but I don't have it. I've only got 175 but he was telling me how to pay that a partial amount. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. What is your initial amount? L. Okay, and you can verify your name again? Penelope Bailey. Yes, ma'am. We, we're actually looking for a male, not a female. I'm sorry? We're looking for a male, Bailey. Penelope no, I'm a female. I'm, I'm a female, Penelope. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma I understand that, ma'am. We're looking for a male. Okay, so you're telling me that you uh, got the wrong person? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We're looking for a, a male, Bailey, a, a man. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Um, okay. Thank God. That, that's, I'm sorry. I'm, I was so scared. Okay. All right. All right. Um, well, thank you very, um, are you positively sure? Are you sure? Cause I'm, I'm worried about this. Yes, ma'am. We positively sure now. All right. Well, By the way, ma'am. Yes. Where are you located at now? Where I, are you staying at now? I live in Florida. You're in Florida, man. We're in the Oklahoma Sheriff Department. Yeah. Oklahoma, man. Yeah, I, I, yeah, that's what he yeah, said. Yeah. Yes, man. We don't need to be worried, man. We look, the person we look for in Oklahoma, man. Okay. All right. Thank God. All right. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you for helping me and letting me know about that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. All right. Um, you have a good day. You too, sir. Thank you. Hey, man, how are you with, ma'am? I'm sorry? Your age? I'm 56. Man, you have a, you have a nice... Keep going, ma'am. Well, I'm going to keep trying. <laughs> Almost had a heart attack tonight, but I'm going to keep trying. Um, but thank you. Take care. Bye-bye. You -bye. too. They actually had souls. They decided that they didn't want to rip me off. Did I sound that that like, much like a victim? I mean, I tried to before I lowered the boom, but um, wow, I can't believe it. I thought you guys should hear about this scam. Um, there's a warrant out for your arrest that you didn't know about, and of course you fail to appear and then you get the warrant, but there is no warrant. We'll help you cancel that if you pay whatever he was saying to pay, and... Wow, just wow. I can't believe it. This is not a thing. This is crazy. I don't think I have come across this one in my whole time of scam baiting, which is about a year now. And I don't think I've ever seen it on another uh, scam baiting channel either. So weird. So weird. Guys, stay safe out there. And if you get a call <laughs> from somebody that says there's a warrant out for your arrest because you failed to appear for jury duty call um your local county sheriff and and talk to them um this guy said it was a grand jury thing and i don't know how grand juries work i know how local juries work uh I don't know. Just call your local county sheriff. This is not a thing. It's a scam. And please share this, guys. Be safe.